So today we're gonna to go over how to set up your Google My Business page with the new format. And I have Latasha here from LPT Realty helping me out, an amazing realtor. Thank you. So we're gonna <laughs> so we're gonna go here. The first thing you do is you search for Google My Business. And as you can see right there, it says Google Business Profile Get Listed on Google. So go ahead and click that. And then it's gonna pop up like that, and that's what you want it to look like. If you already had an account it would go ahead and just open your account. That's how you know you don't have one. And then in the very top right or the bottom middle where it says manage now, just click on one of those manage now. And the first screen that comes up gives you an opportunity to name your business. So Latasha, if you don't have like a business name, you would put like realtor Latasha or Latasha da 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 realtor, or if you have a name you run with, go with that. No, make sure it's separated. So you can do like, if you go by Latasha B, if that's who people know you are, go by that. And that's it. And then click on the name underneath and it should open it if it likes it. Okay, and then hit continue. Okay, when it asks what type of business, you're a service business. And then hit next. Okay, your business category is real estate agent. Okay, and then next again, you're good, you're cruising. Okay, now your service areas. You want to add service areas within like your where you work. Like you wouldn't put like Texas, even though you're you can do real estate in the whole state of Texas. You want to put like San Antonio, um, New Braunfeld, anything within like a hundred to hundred and fifty miles of where you work. And you can put up to 20, I think it's 18, you can put 18 or 20. It might be 20, someone said. So I think we're at 20, you can add in there. Yep. You can do Alamo Ranch, whatever you want to work with, Tasha. You could put Converse, Helotus, Bernie, um, Seguin, Selma, New Braunfelds. All right. Yep, that's a good one. And you can always add more to later too, if you can think of more, but if you have any more, feel free to throw them in, yep. Yep, I'll show you how to do that after. Yep, hit next. And now you want to put your real phone number in there so people can call you if they need business. And this would be your, your LPT website, your actual website to go to. So I know you just put in your uh, domain. You just had, you just registered your domain. So you probably want to put that one in. Okay, that's a great one. All right, and then you do want to click on both of those buttons to get noticed on the map because you want to make sure that you get invitations, you know what's happening, all that. Google likes it to get you more people in your area. Yeah, so this is going to be your mailing address. Give me a second. I'm going to pause this here because nobody knows to know where you live. So Latasha put in her mailing address, and then when she hit next, it showed a code verification, which is great. Sometimes it will send you a postcard, which takes about a month, about a week, week and a half to get in the mail. It says five business days, but it usually takes a little bit longer. Sometimes it makes you do a video, but she got lucky and got the phone code. So then just hit next again. And then hit next again, and it will text you a code. Then you can just drop in the code there.
Sweet. Okay, and then hit next. That's great. All right, so now we're gonna look at adding services to your business, so things you can do for your clients. So can you do beachfront, which you can, of course. So you're gonna hit yes. Uh, beachfront properties, that first one. So you can do that. You can do building lots. You can do buyer agent. You can do commercial properties. You can refer it out if not. You can do farm and ranch. Yeah, first time home buyer, definitely. And then hit show more at the bottom. And then if you want to, if I don't know if you work with any foreclosures. So furnished properties would be like if you do Airbnb, anything short term would be kind of that. Or it could be properties that are furnished to rent. You can find those on MLS sometimes. Yeah, and then land and luxury, of course. New construction, then you want new construction services underneath. Um, I don't know if you do any auctions or management. And you can do rentals if you want. And then if you don't do any development, you can do investing, though. And you definitely can do relocation and seller's agents, of course. Um, and then if you do anything special at the bottom where it says add custom service, you can click on that. And this would be like if you want to, if you say I'm a VA specialist realtor, VA certified specialist, like you help a lot of veterans, you know how that works. You can make your own kind of do whatever you want to call it. Just type in whatever you want. And this lets people know what your kind of specialty is. And then if you want another one, you just click below and hit Add Custom. And then you could do like Military Relocation Specialist, anything like that. And then these will show up on your website that you work special with these type of people. Having a hard time with that one, huh? <laughs> Just hit the right click it when it, if it turns red. There you go. You got it. Yep. And if you're good with that, you hit next. Okay, now for your hours, you want to hit like Sunday where it says closed. You want to click on that. And then underneath where it says opens at, you actually want to, if you're open on Sunday, some people are closed one day a week. You don't want to say 24 hours, even though you're a real estate agent, I know, and you're always working. You want people to look at it that you have like a life. So I do like 8 to 6, 8 to 7, and I'll show you at the end when you start. You can make it so that your website shows that your website's opened all the time, even if you don't work 24-7. And we'll show you how to do that. And then do that for each day if you're open every day that time. If you just put the number 8 when you click on it, it'll just jump to that spot. Like you can see, you just go through and do every day. Yep. You can just click on AM, just click on AM and then change the AM to PM. There you go. And then next. So, if, yeah, and then you want to add messaging. And then here for your description, I just pasted uh, my Google My Business description in the chat. So go to the chat and just grab it. And then you can throw it in there and then we'll tweak it and change it so that it's yours. Do you see it? Okay. And then just paste it in there. Yep. Sweet. And you can just clean it up. 
Okay, so after you have everything looking good, hit next. And then you don't want to, you don't need to add photos here. Uh, I'll show you in a minute where to add them so you can pick like cover photo or anything. But when you add photos, especially for a realtor, you want to make sure you add your IBS and consumer protection as a photo once you get to that point. But I'll show you where to do that in a second. So just go to the bottom and hit skip for now. And then hit skip again here. So what this is asking, if you run Google pay-per-click ads and you spend $500, it'll give you $500 free ad. Okay. So if you scroll down to the bottom of this one, you can skip this because you already have a website and everything. You don't need their, their workspace. I'm um, hit continue. And then it should open your page. All right. So now if you scroll down just a little bit, you should see your page right underneath that. So there it is. It says you're not visible yet because it's finishing the verification. It usually takes less than a day, then it'll process through. So at the top left, you see where it says edit profile. You want to go to that edit profile spot. And then when it opens, you want to click on hours at the top. And then underneath your hours, it's going to say special hours. And then you click underneath where it's, no, not that, a little lower. It says add more hours. Click online service hours. And that one, click on the check like Sunday closed. And then the first drop down, you're going to pick 24 seven. So click open at nine and you'll see the 24 seven underneath it or above it, the very top. You might want to scroll up your screen yet. There it is, 24 seven. And do that for each day. Yep. Because even though we don't, we might not work every day. We know we do as agents, but <laughs> if we want to take a day off, it'll let you know. But it knows your website now is open all the time. And then just hit save at the bottom. Okay, go to the very top and click about. Okay, and then start scrolling down a little bit. And we're going to look for the section a little lower. Keep going. We're almost there where it says social media profiles. Click on that to open it up. The pencil there. Yep. And this, if you drop on the social media button there, it'll show you the different profiles you can pick. And then you can link your... Google My Business to all these profiles now, which is really great. They didn't always do that. And you can put in your Facebook business page. You can put all those in there and you can load up your profile that way. So your Google My Business, because remember, this is sitting on Google. If people say, hey, Google, I need a realtor near me, it opens up and they can find you. Yeah, so you can just go grab your Facebook. You want to get your business page. So if you want to grab a new tab real quick, you can go grab it if you want, and we'll throw it in there. Yep. Yeah, we're good. We're using a lot of the bandwidth doing this. <laughs> and then just make sure you're in your business page. And then click on your name, yep, right there. If you're in your business, it looks like it. And then once it opens up here, you just want to grab the URL at the top. That's it. And then boom, and then you would just go through and add those, the rest of them. And then just hit save for that now. Okay, and then you can close out of this box for now. Now you just know where to go and see it. Now the other thing you see at the top middle where it says photos, when you click on photos, that's where you can add your photos. And see, now you can add a cover photo, a log, all that. You won't be able to add photos until you finish the verification. So it's, once you're done in there, you just come in here anytime and you can add the photos. You can X out of that. 
and that's pretty much your page is roughly set up. And once it's done pot filling all the way up, there'll be a second line that was an arrow and it'll drop open and then it will give you an option to send out a review link for people, okay? So make sure you, when you get verified, you send me a review link so I can leave you a review. You wanna ask everybody you can for reviews. And then I'll give you one and then you, I'll send you mine, you can give me one back. Now to find your Google My, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, when you find your Google My Business page, if you go to google.com in the top right, you see by the, the L, it has the nine dots. Click on those nine dots and you see that little blue tent, that's your Google My Business page. So if you ever wanna go back, you don't have to do all the searching, you can just go right there and grab it. And you can click it again if you want and it'll reopen. But you're set now, as soon as you're verified, you wanna of course add your photos. And I have another video for everybody, not just you, but also everyone on my YouTube channel. I have another video in there showing you how to post, like what to do every day to post to your Google My Business. And I talk a lot about that. So once you're up and running, watch that other video so you can get it all verified for you. Now, the only other thing, make sure for you, you want to hit edit profile again on the top left and you want to finish adding your service areas. And then once you're verified, you can go in there and add anything else you need. But thank you, Latasha, for letting us record it.